Hey there guys, how's it going? Back with another movie review. So, I recently rewatched the movie Gran Torino. This movie came out in 2008 and was directed by Clint Eastwood, also starring Clint Eastwood. And what kind of prompted me to watch this movie again, because it had been quite some time since I last saw it. And I did I did have the movie on DVD, I had it stored away somewhere. And the reason why I wanted to rewatch it is because I recently went to the theatre and saw the movie Richard Jewell, which was um, Clint Eastwood's most recent movie that he directed. And I reviewed that one on here, if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description section to my movie review playlist. And you can check out my review for Richard Jewell if you want. And I really enjoyed Richard Jewell. I thought it was a really solid movie, and it kind of prompted me to go back and watch this one, because this, in my personal opinion, is one of Clint Eastwood's most underrated movies. I really love this movie. I think this movie's a masterpiece, and I actually like this movie a lot more watching it recently than I did when I first saw it several years ago. And to me, this is just a movie that's really, really old school in a good way. So Clint Eastwood stars as a retired war veteran who has recently lost his wife. In fact, the movie opens with him attending his wife's funeral. And you learn a lot about the character very quickly in this opening scene. You basically, you see him looking at his family, for example, his kids, his grandkids, um, the people around him. And he's just extremely grumpy and pissed off throughout the majority of this movie. And you just get the sense that he is in a constant state of anger and frustration because his entire community has gone to shit you know there's all this mass immigration he's basically the only um actual american in his community like the rest of the people in his community are all immigrants and you know there's all this gang violence all this depredation and he's a very old school and old-fashioned guy who abides by his um you know military background he's very very, very proud and very very um um, well accomplished, you know, got all these medals, you know, fought in the war, um, had a good relationship with his wife, however, when his wife dies, he, he's basically given up, you know, he drinks, he chain smokes, um, and you get the sense that he's just depressed and just can't wait to die, basically, you know, that's kind of the sense you get from his character, and this is a, an extremely funny and extremely satirical movie. Now, the movie gets to a point where, essentially, he becomes sort of a, a mentor, a father figure to a young boy who lives next door to him. Is this young boy who comes from a um, Korean Asian background, and um, yeah, this guy is um, being harassed and hounded by a local gang who are trying to get him to join them. And um, yeah, basically, Clint Eastwood takes this boy under his wing and teaches him how to be a man. Essentially, you know, teaches him how to get a job how to talk to people, you know, how to be more um, confident, you know, how to be more of an alpha, you know, because the boy's very, um, you, you know, he's very socially awkward, can't really talk to people, can't really talk to girls, lets people walk all over him, does what he's told, and he's just a very, um, he, he's just a bit of a simp, basically, and and yeah, he takes him under his wing, and that's, that's the majority of the story. Um, there are a few action sequences here and there, you know, there's, um, he has to deal with like local gangs in the area, you know, he has to protect his community and whatnot. And, you know, there are a couple of shootouts and this is just a movie that I, don't, I almost don't want to give too much away doing this review. And it's it's difficult when you're reviewing an old movie not to get into spoilers and plot points. But this is one of their movies that I think you really just have to see, you know, without having it described to you. I mean, I saw this movie without knowing anything about it, like, I knew absolutely nothing about the plot before I first saw it, and, um, yeah, it's, it's one of the movies that has a few twists and turns along the way, you know, there's some philosophical discussions in the movie, basically, um, a subplot of the movie is a local priest who was very close friends with Clint Eastwood's wife before she died, is constantly showing up at his door and visiting him because, you know, he promised to Clint Eastwood's wife um, before she passed away, that he would that he would watch over him and that he would try and get him to go to confession and go to church and stuff like that. And there's some quite funny dialogue between them. Um, you know, there's a lot of real tongue-in-cheek, uh, satirical humour in this movie, which I really like. You know, there's a lot of real um, non-PC, like, offensive humour and stuff like that. 
and it's just a movie that I, I get the feeling watching this movie and this is probably one of the reasons why I enjoyed it so much in retrospect you know what watching it in 2020 because one of the things that I had on my mind constantly as I watched this movie I was like there is no way that this would be released today like if this movie got w w was was made in 2020 no way would a studio sign off on it y you know and no way would this movie um be released without any backlash because this movie is extremely like, like like i said earlier in the video it's old school in a good way this is not a movie that's trying to pander to people you know this is not a movie that is concerned with hurting your feelings or you know representation and 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 being woke and 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 moving on with the times no this is a very old school and very classic type movie it's a movie that's that, that feels nostalgic but also feels modern and also feels fresh and it's very difficult to pull off something like that in a movie and i think that this is one of the few movies that really does it and as far as clint eastwood goes his acting performance is fantastic this is one of his best performance acting wise in my opinion you know you really buy him as this real gruff and grumpy um war veteran who has just seen horrors in his life that has absolutely hardened his heart and basically this dude fears nobody like even though he's an old man even though he's sick even though he's um <laughs> dealing with the loss of his wife he, he is just extremely stoic and that's one thing i like about his character very very stoic character and some of the scenes with him and the young boy who lives next door to him um you know scenes with them bantering back and forth and <laughs> the things they say to one another and you know the way that he tries to teach this boy to be a man it's just really really funny and it's also very heartwarming uh, the, the the movie also has an ending which is reminiscent of an old western you know a proper western shootout do you know what the ending of this movie reminded me of it kind of reminded me of um red dead redemption and the way that game ended um which which weirdly enough came out one like one year after this i believe or or was it two years something like that but it didn't come out long after and it's fitting to have a wet you know a western style ending because of course um clint eastwood is very well known for his um western movies you know cowboy movies and whatnot you know he, he sort of made his name doing westerns you know he was very popular in westerns and um yeah he, he sort of brings that old school charm and that old school mindset to this movie and it's, it's, it's a movie that's surprisingly moving and surprisingly heartwarming and you really wouldn't think so but the way the movie concludes and how the characters develop throughout the movie is really really well done and I just think that this one is a blast. I really love this movie, man. And I've got no major criticisms of it. I guess some of the dialogue seems a little bit cringy. Like, there's one or two scenes in the movie which were a little bit cringy. But I'm not going to knock the movie points off for that. Because I found the scenes funny. Even though the acting wasn't always great from the supporting cast. I still enjoyed the movie so much. And I thought the direction of the movie was excellent you know the action scenes which were in the movie were competently filmed and realistic and i just really enjoyed this movie man you know it's a movie that i had a lot of fun with i had a lot of fun revisiting it so i i've really got no criticisms of it i give this one a 10 out of 10 really love this movie and i can't wait to watch it again at some point so yeah let me know what you guys think and let me let me know in the comment sections what are your favorite clint eastwood movies because i really did like richard jewell um, and I also enjoyed The Mule, which was another, he didn't direct The Mule, but, but he was, um, he starred in the movie, and that was another one he made quite recently, and I, I really enjoyed his performance in that too. So let me know in the comments, what are your favourite Clint Eastwood movies, and yeah, let me know what you guys think anyway. Stay tuned for more movie reviews, I'm going to be reviewing a lot of older movies, because I've been watching a lot of movies recently, and got plenty of reviews coming, so let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, God bless.